Good morning, everyone. Today's morning minute is dedicated in honor of the Hauptmans. We wish them a big Tzitzchem Shalom, a big goodbye, and we will miss them. Shalom, peace. Who doesn't want peace? We all strive for peace. Now, Shalom means many things. Typically, as we just said, peace. We also say, Shalom, hey, how are you? Welcome. We also say, Shalom, bye. Shalom also means complete. Hadavar Shalom. The thing is complete. So I think this gives us an insight into how to truly find the ultimate peace. Peace is not what we think, kumbaya, everybody gets along. That's a utopia. That's not reality. Shalom, true peace, is when everything is running completely, the way it's supposed to be. Hadavar Shalem, the thing is Shalem, the thing is complete, is running properly. That's true peace. That's when the world is at peace. This week's Torah portion, we find that God gave Pinchas the blessing of peace. Why didn't Pinchas merit to get the blessing of peace? So as we are taught in last, the end of last week's Torah portion, Pinchas was zealous for God. Kin al Hashem. There were two individuals that were doing a terrible avera, transgression, and Pinchas took care of it. And by that zealous of God, God gave him the blessing of peace. So this teaches us that to have true peace, to be complete, you have to have a balance. Like it says in Pirkei Avot, in Ethics of Our Father, the world stands on three things, Torah, and then avoda, service, and gemilas chasadim, and kindness and good deeds. Gemilas chasadim and avoda are the two pillars that one could get through learning Torah. But what is avoda? Gemilas chasadim we understand, good deeds we understand. But what's avoda? Avoda is the service of God, making sure that God's word and that we are doing and tradition is being held based on what God wants from us. And you have to do your chesed with avoda, with service of God, and you have to do your avoda, your service of God with chesed, with kindness, because they're really both of the same. And that's how you reach true shalom, true peace. When you make sure that you have law and order, you have things running properly, and you're a nation and a people of peace, of kindness. My friends, that is the Hauptmans who we're going to miss in our community. Working tirelessly to make sure that the tradition was held up in our community through the school, through their education, through NCSY, and at the same time working tirelessly to make sure that everybody in our community has been taken care of, from people staying in their homes, from hosting Shalom Zachers and Sheva Brachas, constantly looking out for other people. That is a true balance. That is Shalom. So we wish the Houtmans a Shalom, a goodbye, but also, we will miss your shalom. We will miss your energy of completeness, of the true power of making sure the world runs c properly, which is that balance of chesed and avodah. May we learn from them and grow from them, and we wish them a success in their next endeavor. Wishing everyone a beautiful day.